fuck. All right, what's up, YouTube? Angry Jackalope here, Rob Ricks. Holy shit. All right, so some of you know uh, I do a lot of web development, design work, things of that nature. I'm going to share with you how I discovered the Internet. So I'm going to change the name of this guy because I don't want to embarrass him or anything else, but uh, we're going to call him Donkey Kong. Okay, so I was working at a company and I was tasked with helping Donkey Kong get his equipment set up. We were all on PCs and he demanded a Mac. So we got him a Mac. And um, I'm knocking on his door one day and he's all, come on in. So I go in and there is a picture of a naked chick on the screen. And I'm all, whoa. How the fuck did you do that? He's like, close the door. Close the door. He's all, yeah, I use this thing called the internet. And I'm all, what the fuck is that? You know? He's all, it's, it's a, a network that goes around uh, the world and, you know, country and stuff. So he explains to me what the internet is, which is, I'm like, okay, whatever, fuck it. So, at the time, back in the day, if you wanted to see naked pictures and stuff, you had Usenet. And Usenet, uh, in more layman terms, is news groups. So you would pull down all of these text files that were UU encoded, okay? And you would pull all of these pieces in. It might be up to 50 pieces. You pull these 50 pieces down, you run it through a UU decoder, and then it would end up with a single JPEG image. And this process could take a good half hour. So we're sitting there giggling and, you know, reading descriptions of what the picture is going to be. And we download this stuff and I'm just blown away. And we're looking at these pictures and I'm like, wow, we worked hard for internet porn back in those days. And it just blew my mind. And I was like, the internet is a fucking amazing. He's like, I know, right? And, uh, and, and so he was just a cool dude and he kind of exposed me to the internet and then I actually saw websites and I, I went to the company and said, hey, I want to create a website and at that time we were using Netscape browsers that had a big Godzilla dragon looking thing and it was cool. It was, it was, that was the genesis of got me going in the, the, the career path that I ended up going down. And then time passed relatively quickly for the internet and then the next thing was a program called sucker which would go to usenet it would pull all the feeds down it would push them all together and then boom there out come all these folders of images and fast forward to today now i do a search for some innocuous term bald for example and i got 50 million put bald pussies right in my fucking face even with safe search turned on so it just goes to show you, it's like, you know, the internet has evolved in such a way that what used to take a half hour for one image now is probably even before you hit enter on the uh, the search box, right? It's, it's just ridiculous now. The internet has so much to offer and is, you know, you got porn, you've got Wikipedia, you got all these things. It's like, I, I literally cannot find... Um, anything that there's not a solution on the internet. I'm fixing a garage, I look online, I find a YouTube video on how to fix it. I want to cook a meal, there's infinite recipes, there's people chiming in on recipes. Uh, it's just amazing the power that the internet has. And so now when my kids come home and they say, oh, I got a bad grade in this, I'm like, how the fuck could you possibly have a bad grade with the fucking internet? as your fucking road dog, as your wingman, right? So anyway, I just wanted to share how I got involved in the internet and actually do a quick little commentary on the power of the internet. Um, I can honestly say if I had the internet at my disposal as a, as a young man, I, it would have been just a different, a different reality completely. I think people today just don't understand the things that they have at their disposal. It's just amazing. Just blows the mind. Anyway, that's it uh, for this one. 
Donkey Kong was a cool motherfucker. I'm still in touch with him. He's a great guy. And uh, if he figures out who he is um, and he appreciates this video, Donkey Kong, thanks, man. You actually uh, uh, were very instrumental in me going down the career path that I went down. So thank you. All right, guys. If you like it, like it. Please subscribe. Tell all your friends about it. Until next time.